and we are going to be doing a kind of nostalgic early 2000s kind of Spice Girl-ish holiday look. We're gonna have some big bouncy curls, a super snatched ponytail, and a really cool infinity braid that I'm gonna be doing with gold string. And I think it's gonna be awesome. So first we're gonna go into our snatched pony. Now, a lot of times when you do snatched ponytails, people always like to go in with serums. They think like the more serums, you're gonna get that like super sleek look. But the best way to actually do a snatched ponytail is with Headstrong. So Headstrong is our Stronghold hairspray. And I'm going to layer that section by section and then brush it all together and get that super, super tight look. So before I do that, her hair is pretty straight, but we, if she had any curl pattern, we would be going in with the flat iron first. So we can get that super, super nice, sleek, snatched look. And actually, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of blockade. Blockade is our 450 degree heat protection serum. And it's actually my favorite to use for flat ironing because it gives you that really, really nice silk press and it doesn't leave the hair oily, protects it up to 450 degrees and it just looks really, really nice and really, really smooth. So I'm working blockade all the way through. Grab my wet brush, brush it in. And I used like three pumps. I used quite a bit of blockade, but you will see that as soon as it hits the flat iron, it makes the nicest, silkiest silk for us. Okay, hit this side one more time. And again, her hair is pretty smooth, but if they had any curl pattern, it's always great to go in with the flat iron first. And then we are going to layer it with Headstrong Hairspray and get that super, super tight, snatched look. So my model today is Melanie, and she's also a hairstylist. <laughs> and you do a ton of bridal, right? A lot of bridal, A lot yeah. of bridal. It's really all I do. But not makeup, right? No makeup, just hair. The bridal parties are usually pretty big. Okay. So. All right, we are going in with Headstrong. Now, Headstrong is our super, super strong hold hairspray. It's great for backcombing. Speaking of bridal, if you are doing a lot of backcombing for bridal, Headstrong is where it's at. It will keep that backcombing just completely locked in. So section by section, spray it all together. And as I mentioned before, a lot of people like to go in with serums to get that super snatched pony, but hairspray is actually where it's at. I am a punk rock kid. Hairspray for mohawks always works the best. And we are going to blend that all together. Are you tender headed? No, I feel okay. Oh my gosh, I love yeah. that. <laughs> I love when people are not tender headed. Okay, brushing that all together. More Headstrong. <laughs> Headstrong is great for any time you need something to stay in place and not go anywhere. It smells good too. It does smell good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this tight. I hope you're okay. Yeah. And I only grabbed one ponytail, so hopefully it doesn't break. <laughs> And then we are going to curl this ponytail, zhuzh it all up. I know it's hard to tell you're like, where is she going with this? But we're gonna have that like big bouncy ponytail, tons of curls on the side. She's actually already prepped in the back right now. So you guys don't have to watch me curl the whole head because that would not be fun. <laughs> but let's move on. Let's curl the sides here. So before I curl, I always use the shield. The shield is 450 degree heat protection. It gives the hair memory and it is a style extender. 
and I use a lot of the shield. And you really want to use it section by section and just give it a second. Don't go in and brush it right away because you'll actually just brush that product right off the hair. Give it a second, let it dry. Go over here. This is the product for clients who says their hair doesn't hold curl. And the other cool thing with this product is that it actually has a 450 degree heat protection, but a 48 hour frizz barrier. So it's gonna protect your hair from that frizz if you're in the warm states. We are in Michigan, it is freezing. It's also, it snowed yesterday, didn't stick. It's just been light gray for a week. <laughs> Should've went snowboarding though, that would've been fun. Okay, so now we're going to brush it into the hair and you can see how much I sprayed and it's still just like soft. You don't feel it in the hair. So if you have clients that are like really weird with texture, it's a super, super clean finish and it's gonna give you that nice memory so that your hair actually holds the curl and stays frizz free. All right, so I'm going to go in with my chameleon iron. If you have ever taken a class with me, you will know I am obsessed with this iron. It is actually a five change inter, five barrel interchangeable iron. This is just probably one of the most popular um, barrels. But we got a big one, we got a little one, there's five total. But the cool thing with this is that it is titanium plated and titanium transfers heat faster than any other metal. So if you have clients whose hair doesn't hold curl, titanium is awesome for that. It also makes it super fast. So if you like to work fast, like I do, I'm trying so hard to go slow right now because I got to talk for an hour and I'm like, I like to be fast. Um, titanium will speed up your game. And the same thing's true with a titanium flat iron. If you have somebody who has like really, really curly hair, one pass with titanium versus multiple passes with ceramic, um, be a lot quicker, be a lot more efficient. And if you are flat ironing, highly recommend that you try Blockade. It's just like the best silk press. I can't say enough good things about it. Okay, so now we are going to the other side here. And we have prepped the hair with the shield. And as you can kind of see, see on that side, let me wrap you up here. You get a little bit of steam but it automatically has just instant memory, you know? Way better than not using anything at all. And then we'll go in with a little bit of hairspray to finish it off. But I don't like to use a lot of hairspray on curls before I take a photo, um, because hairspray, before you photograph, other than like we did the snatched sleek look right here, tends to highlight all like the little hairs so I like to use something like top gloss before I take a photo. It just kind of softens everything and then go in with hairspray and then send them, send them home with the bill. <laughs> then they'll pay me and then they'll leave. And that's the story. Okay, so curling this section here. And again, this is the chameleon iron, five barrel interchangeable. I have three of them. I have one here, one in my Mika kit, and one in my bridal kit. So this is a nostalgic, early 2000s kind of pop vibe. So we gotta have, of course, like our pieces in the front. But I am going to go in with some string and do an infinity braid on each side. And if you put your head down for me, please. We have this like super cool triangular section here. So I'm gonna braid each side coming forward with the string and then it's going to like wrap around and then she'll have her super cute, kind of, I guess it's almost like 90s and 2000s pieces hanging out, but it's gonna be fun, I'm excited. Okay, so let's cut those out. Not cut out, but you know what I mean? Let's carve those out. Go back on this side. If you've ever taken a class with me, you know that I love triangular sections. They just work super natural with the head. It's a great way to like add in any piece. Um, it's a great way to work with updos. It just tends to kind of hide everything and flows really well with the head. Okay, first we need more of the shield. Absolutely more shield. I'm going to spray that on with the 
front hairs here. Again, just letting it dry. I'm not just gonna brush off the product right away. Spray, oh, am I spraying it right in your face? I'm no, sorry. you're right. No. <laughs> Let that dry. Let go there. Brush up. And I think I'm going to do the curling iron here. Or the flat iron. Just so it's not super, super curly. And just kind of like a little, maybe a little more matte. You can already see that. That memory. Actually, that's kind of cool. Okay, okay. Maybe just a little more on the end here. Yeah. I don't have the mirror in front of me, so I have to <laughs> use my eyes, I guess. I don't know. All right, coming in with the flat iron here. I find that the flat iron gives it, obviously, more of like a square curl. Like, it's like less aggressive. But it looks kind of fun and like super modern. I actually hated curling with the flat iron for the longest time. I was never very good at it, but I feel like I've, I've come a long way <laughs> with my flat iron work. Okay, so now we are going to go in and do some infinity braiding with the gold string. I'm going to bring the camera a little closer so you guys can see what I got going on here. Ooh. Sorry, I'm gonna be like right on top of you. Let me adjust this. <laughs> oh wait, we gotta put you in the little chair. Lower chair? Crash. Little chair time. She's too tall. So, infinity braid with string. If you've seen any of my work, you will see lots of braiding with string. I just think it's super fun. It's a co super cool way to just like add a pop of color. It's maybe on a scale of one to 10, I would say this is like a level eight, only because you have to keep your sectioning really clean. But once you get that infinity pattern down, you can just weave away and it's not that hard. Okay, so I start this out First, I'm gonna prep her with some moisture and shine cream. This is Supernova. It's super lightweight, but I'm gonna be applying quite a bit of it to the point where it is gonna look a little greasy, just because I wanna have super clean sections, and this is gonna help tame all those flyaways. And it's gonna be braided, so it can look a little, a little damp. But yeah, moisture and shine cream, um, a little on the ends before you blow dry. It's super, super versatile. It's really good for all hair types, but I really like it when I'm trying to do a really clean on the scalp braid as well. So I'll go in and give you a little brush. And I'm actually gonna add a little more. Just cause string and baby, baby flyaways, it's a thing. All right, so really just working that product in. And I like to, it never makes my hands feel sticky. So I'm not gonna be like pulling it back off, you know, or like just can't get it to stop sticking to your hands. All right, so I start this off by taking a little section. Get my gold string for our holiday fun. And I just lay it across. I take my pin curl clip, wherever it is, it's gone. Okay, we'll take a duck bill clip. And I just set it like that. Now we'll come back to that, but there, this way of starting, there's no like knotting, you don't have to tie anything. We're actually just gonna go in and like cut the little tail off at the end so it just looks super clean. And yes, it does stay in all day. All right, so Infinity Braid is a two strand braid where one piece, or I'm sorry, actually would technically be a three strand braid if this was a piece of hair, and you wrap over, under, over, under, just like the infinity symbol or a figure eight, if that's easier to remember. So head down a little bit for me. So I went under, over, under, over. 
So at this point, I am going to grab my tail comb, which of course I put over here. Oh, stretch, okay. I am going to add, if you guys can see, a little bit of hair to the right. And since I used that moisture and shine cream, it's just picking up so easy. I'm so happy. And a little bit of hair to the left. And at first it kind of looks like nothing, but it all comes together. And now repeating our infinity symbol over under over under and it looks like that and we are going to continue this pattern pick up a little bit on the right pick up a little bit on the left and then like this head down a little bit more yep yeah, okay cool over under over under and those are the steps and we are going to repeat it all the way through as you gather more hair it starts to look really really cool and it you can really take it kind of like in multiple ways like it could get very like festival-y or it could almost almost get like grecian-y <laughs> but we're gonna take it holiday-y <laughs> over, under, over, under. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of hair from the left to the left. Add a little bit of hair from the right to the right. And the trickiest part is just honestly keeping hair off of the string. It always wants to wrap around the string. And once it does that, it starts to muddy the color. And the whole point is to have a pop of color. Oops, stepping on it. So keeping your string clean over, under, over, under. Adding a little bit to the left. Adding a little bit to the right. We're gonna be doing this on the other side as well. Gotta get all those little baby hairs off. How are you doing? Am I'm I doing hurting? great, okay. no, it feels good. Cool. Over, under. We were just exchanging like, when you get a bad model. <laughs> Terrible model, <laughs> but you are awesome. Yay. And I appreciate you. And by a bad model, I just mean they're very tender-headed and very opinionated, and that can be hard to work with sometimes. All right, adding a little bit of hair to the left to the left, wrapping around, and it's starting to look like something. A little bit more. So now I'm kind of at a pivotal point where I need it to flow down and around so that it's not just coming out straight like an antennas. So I'm going to start cheating and gathering more hair from the left. And have you like look this way? Yep, perfect. And just kind of swinging that over. Because we're always keeping in mind the flow of the head. And uh, she'll have a little bit of hair on this side. Kind of swinging it over, cheating, cheating. Wrapping around. A little bit of hair on this side. Over, under, over, under. And I think we got a little bit more we can gather. Let's see what you look like. Um, yeah, okay, okay, we got a couple more sections to do here. And again, I prepped the hair with Supernova Moisture Shine Cream so that we can keep all those little, little flyaways at bay. Also helped to do the snatch part first. 
Okay. Uh, adding a little more hair, just like your little baby hairs. And at this point, I don't even have any hair to add on the left. So I'm gonna do one more section of your baby hairs. Hopefully that doesn't hurt. Coming around, over, under, doing that infinity style braid. And now I'm just going to tie it off, adding no more hair at this point. Okay, you bet your head up. And then look to the left a little bit, yep. So then we have this, I'm gonna tie it off and it's gonna kinda come down around by her ears. I actually have you put your head, yeah, cool. So yeah, it just adds a really cute pop of color. It's fun, feels festive-y, Festi festivus. <laughs> Do you watch Seinfeld? It's been a while. Okay. I mean, I'm familiar. <laughs> Okay, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, and I'm just going to tie this off, and we are going to move on to the other side, and again, trying to keep that string clean of the hair so that you your pop of color stays true. Okay. So close, so close, I'm almost there. All right, so if you just stopped in, we have prepped her whole head with the shield, curled it. We have a snatched ponytail happening on the top of the head, and that we set with Headstrong, which is my go-to for any type of sleek, tight, clean look. Hairspray is the winner for sure. Okay, and I'm going to stop right here because I think I can do something. I think I can do something. I'm going to kind of make it up as I go, I guess. All right. So for right now, I'm just going to put a pin curl clip in and let that live. And then maybe I'll like loop this hair through to kind of hide it or I'll redo my snatch so that this this part of the hair comes over it because like that could be cool we'll see okay now let's go to the other side here and again like you can just leave this we're just going to do a little cut it'll totally stay and then you don't have to worry about trying to tie uh, onto the little bit of hair because it's really hard I've tried it a lot and then I found the cheat way cheat code all right, so going in with Moisture and Shine Cream, my go-to to prep all the little baby hairs when I'm doing a tight on the scalp braid. And I'm using enough that you can see it in the hair. But again, super nice. Doesn't make your hair feel, uh, doesn't make your hands feel sticky. And we're working that product in. Brushing. Yeah, I love Supernova in the hair. It just feels so nice. And won't stick to your hands. It's a great braid aid when you're doing something tight and on the scalp. If you're doing something fluffy that you want it to fluff up, undone texture spray all day. If you're doing a braid that you want to like poof out, undone texture spray all day. <laughs> will really give you that like nice fluffy big braid give you that grip make it look super boho super airy i need this that drop in straight in okay so we are going to do the same thing on this side and how i prepped it is i just take a little section of hair I'm just gonna set it aside, drape the string over, and clip it with a pin curl clip, pin curl clip. But of course, I am like notorious for forgetting my pin curl clips. I've, like the past two shows I've worked, I get on stage and then I have no pin curl clips. <laughs> okay, so 
we are going to split this into two. This is an infinity braid, which is technically a three strand braid if this string was a piece of hair, but it's not. So we are doing working with two strands and we are going to do the infinity symbol under and over, under and over. And I'm gonna go just one more time in the beginning here. All right. Now I'm going to add a little bit of hair from the left to the left. And a little bit of hair from the right to the right. It's hard because um, I'm right-handed and I would normally be standing right where the camera is. <laughs> it's like I'm doing it's like backwards here. Okay. Oops. All right, there we go. Okay. Now under and over, under and over. And before I go back around, I'm going to add a little bit of hair from the left to the left. I use my left hand. That's what I have. That's where I'm going wrong here. <laughs> like, why is this so complicated right now? And I'm going to come around. Add a little bit of hair from the right to the right. And I'm going to wrap back around over and under. And it's really important when you're doing this braid to keep the string clean. I mentioned it earlier, but the cleaner you can keep the string, the more the pop of color will show. So over, under, add a little bit to the left. And you also want to be adding your hair to your sections before you wrap the string around. So before I wrap around, I'm gonna add a little bit to the left left to the left, oops, wrap around. Before I wrap back around, I'm gonna add a little bit of right to the right. And we're kind of at that point where we gotta start cheating it a little bit because we want it to lay nicely with a section of the head. So I'm going to start taking a little bit more from the left side and kind of tweaking it over this way. Wrap back around. A little less hair on the right to add this time. Come back over, under. Again, adding a little more hair from the left so that we can start to shape it. Can I have you look to the left a little more? <laughs> Left to the left, look to the left. Coming back around. A little bit of hair to add to the right. And around. Okay. It's looking good. Could use a little more supernova right here. You can see how it's a lot softer and drier and the flyaways are running amok. All right. Wrap around with our figure eight pattern. And can I have you look straight just so I can see if I'm yeah. doing this straight? <laughs> I get done and this is like totally uneven. That would be awesome. Okay. And I'm gonna add a little bit. Yeah, turn again? Of, yep, turn uh -huh. again. Perfect, thank you. Going to add a little bit more from the left to the left and come around. Nothing to add to the right this time. I'm gonna scoop all this hair up. Over, under, over, under. And this last little bit that is not curled, it's sticking out like a sore thumb. Actually, that's too much. Okay. Nice clean sections. 
Do you like braiding? Um, I've never done an infinity braid. Oh, okay. But all other kinds of braids I love. Amika has a viral braids class where okay. we do like super, super cool, like not your typical waterfall braid braids. And there's like eight of them. And one of them is a French infinity and it is so much fun. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now we're at the end here and I'm just going to wrap over, under, over, under. I'm going to kind of go fast so it's not like watching paint dry for y'all. But little details like this, I think, just take looks to the next level, you know? Like, it's not super intricate, but it looks really cool. <laughs> and it will be some great content to post. Give it some of that, like, clickbait, you know? Little details go a long way. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to overdo them or overthink them. Even, like, just a small clip can make it seem so much more engaging. Okay, over, under, over, under. I can't wait to take this down and hide it in. I think it's gonna look super cool and we'll redo our snatched pony. Oops. Over, under, over, under. All right, how far did I go down on this side? A lot farther, okay. So the back of her head is already prepped and curled. We used the chameleon iron, which is again, my absolute favorite iron. It's titanium plated. It curls the hair super, super fast and lasts all day. And I curled her in the back kind of randomly. I if Originally in my mind, I was gonna do like a set. And then when I brought it all out, it would kind of have a vintage-y effect. But then I think, then I thought I was like mixing way too many genres. <laughs> so I'm like, no, let's just kind of, let's just do some big curls and call it a day. But it would be really cool if somebody recreated this look and did it like super retro. Also, when I was at the store, I picked out a bow that we can put on our snatched ponytail. But I told her too, I was like, I don't know, if you start to look like a Christmas tree, <laughs> like maybe it's too much. We'll see when we get to the end. But I was at Joanne Fabrics and they had like mistletoe and stuff. I was like, oh, that could be cool. And I was like, no, just, just walk away. You already got string and a bow. Okay, so. Dun, dun, dun. Thanks, Tasha. Looking good. All right. Here we go. All right, yeah, so I'm gonna hide these in the snatch ponytail somehow. I think it's gonna be cool. I think I can do it. I hope you guys believe in me. All right, so I need, that's gonna curl up, so I'm just gonna steal from the back for now. Now the way that I end um, infinity braids, and I do this with when it's like an actual infinity braid or if I'm tying off with string, which side note, if anybody wants to try to do this, this is just like regular, pretty thin string. Yarn works good too if it's skinny. Um, ribbon works good if it's skinny. Things that do not work from experience, leather and metal wire for like jewelry wrapping was extremely hard. So, but if you do do it, then I definitely want to see what you've recreated because you are amazing and maybe you should be teaching the class. All right. So I'm going to take my little scissors here. Oh wait, first, the secret ingredient to getting it to not go anywhere, headstrong, duh. So I'm gonna put a little bit of headstrong on here, a little bit on there. It's gonna be fun to get out later. <laughs> no, it actually, it comes out fine. It does. All right, and I'm just gonna cut it and cut it. Let that dry. And then how I finish off infinity braids um, is I just take a bobby pin, which actually you have blonde hair, so eh, that'll be fine. Um, and I just go straight up the middle with it. Actually, no, just kidding. I pick a side and then I just shove the bobby pin up it. 
So right in the bottom of the base, it just goes straight up. And like, you probably can, I'll have to hide that a little bit. You can, you can see it on the other side, but once you press it flat, like look to the side here, you can't see it, so there is a body pit in there, right there. And then it's done, like it doesn't go anywhere. So that's that. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're just gonna like bend this body pin a little bit so it lays to your head a little flatter. Does that hurt? No. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's like headed steel. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> when people tell me that they're not tender headed, that's like my love language. <laughs> like sweet. Although I think, I mean, I've been told I'm very gentle. I'm yeah. not, I am not a hard headed uh, or hard, he heavy handed uh, stylist. Okay, so taking our bobby pin, I'm gonna go insert on, there's two sides here, I'm just gonna pick the fattest side, so that one that's gonna hide the bobby pin, and I just go straight up the middle with it, and it will like lay one side on the other side, one side in the middle. If you flipped it over, you'd totally see the bobby pin, but we're not going to, so. A hairpin would probably work too, because these are pretty fat bobby pins. Also using a black bobby pin, like an amateur, I have blonde bobby pins, but I'm not gonna make you guys wait for me. Okay. So there we go. Oh, that one laid perfect. This one's killing me. I will fix it though. Okay. So now let's hide these so that it doesn't look like you have antennas. <laughs> and let's go back to like a normal position here. To, I told you I headstrong this, so it is, it's not going anywhere. So I'm gonna kind of have to break it apart a little bit. In the future, if you recreate this look, do this second. Now you know. Okay, so, sorry, this hurts. I'm going to section a little bit of hair on each side because I want to, yeah, hide it turns the lock, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good, guys. Okay, so more headstrong. To reiterate, headstrong is our strongest, strongest hold hairspray. It is like glue in a can. It has many uses, even though I know a lot of people think like, ooh, they don't really want super strong hairspray. As a hairstylist, this is an amazing tool to have in your arsenal because not only can you do like super snatched looks like this, but it's great for back combing. It's also great for, um, and we're in, we, will, we will do it today, um, hiding ponytail bands, headstrong all the way through, and then wrapping around, headstrong, wrapping around, headstrong, hiding that um, ponytail, and it will actually stay. That was like a fashion week, um, New York fashion week trip that I learned. More headstrong. <laughs> brushing, brushing. And let's bring this little guy over top so we can hide what I created. I don't even know what you would call it. I guess it's just kind of like an infinity braid detail string. Okay. 
I really want to give you that like eyebrow lift, you know, like <laughs> snatched eyebrow lift. I was watching a video with um, Bella Hadid's hairdresser, Avani, mm -hmm. and I guess she repeatedly tells him to like pull harder Ooh. because it makes, she like works all day and then she goes to these parties and it makes her feel like awake to like keeps like her eyes yeah, open. That's I can, like literally I can imagine what she that. said. But like, painful that's kind of in a way, right? Oh my god, yes. <laughs> and actually, all the celebrities that do those styles, they say like they can only wear their hair like that for like a couple hours yeah. because they get a headache. Sure. So hopefully, when you're out tonight, you're not mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> or I mean, I can always take this out. So, channeling my inner Bella Hadid, and we're gonna pull it nice and tight. Do you feel? Do you feel yeah, lifted? Yeah, instant Botox. Ooh, is what it is. I love this. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm liking how I'm liking where this is going here. All right, so back to the shield. Section by section is truly how you want to apply this product. Um, also, should mention it is heat activated. So it is a style extender, but it's heat activated. So if you apply this as like a finishing spray, it does literally nothing. <laughs> so you wanna make sure you either blow dry it in, um, flat iron it in, or curl it in. My favorite way to use this product for sure is curl all day. And you weren't here, if you weren't here in the beginning, um, Blockade is my favorite product on dry hair to flat iron. Gives you a beautiful silky smooth finish. Okay. So brushing that in, I should need a little bit more. I'm a product junkie, okay? Um, letting it dry a little bit, just so I'm not just instantly brushing that product right out, because it does apply wet, but then it dries very nice. Okay, perfect. And now we're going in with my favorite iron of all time. I have three of them. The Chameleon Five Barrel Interchangeable barrel changeable. How would you say that? Five five barrel interchangeable. Five interchangeable bar barrels. Yes. Yeah? It's a tongue twister. It really is. <laughs> Talking and doing hair. Normally I'm doing hair, I'm just like nodding and smiling and totally not listening. So yeah. Okay. So here we go. Titanium plated, titanium transfers heat faster than any other metal, so it is one of the quickest tools you can have in your arsenal. Time is money. And you see a little bit of steam from uh, the shield, but also just that instant memory. And going in with this. And I'm just wrapping. Like I, I mentioned initially, I was gonna do like a set and have it, but I just want big bouncy curls. I don't want any section to lay on top of the other section. I want it to repel off. So I'm just kind of over directing one way, wrapping the other way, so that when I shake it all out, I'm just gonna have like big, beautiful, oh, someone sent me a heart, thank you. <laughs> it's so nice. When you do these things, it's like, is anyone gonna show up? <laughs> or you're just gonna be like talking to yourself. So I appreciate all of you guys that are on here on a Sunday evening, heck, well, unless you're from the west side, then I guess it's like one o'clock. <laughs> but for those of you who are on here, thank you. Hope you're learning something cool. If you have any questions, please let us know. But we are going to continue creating our early 2000s nostalgic, big old hair snatched pony with holiday twist detail. So again, I want this pony to be big. I don't want it, everything to lay down, which is a vibe. It is super cool. When you brick lay everything and curl it exactly the same way, you can form it into a beautiful wave. But I want this pony to be like, just wild. So I'm going to curl in different directions so that nothing sits on top of each other and it repels off. And then when we hit it with our undone texture spray, it is going to be mega volume and it's gonna be awesome. forward with this guy. You said your hair holds curl pretty mm -hmm. well. Yeah. Love At it. least the first day. The second day, not so much. Okay. Gotta try the shield then. Yeah. Alright. I need a little bit more. You can tell I didn't hit the middle of the ponytail very well. So a little more shield. So 
letting it dry just a second before I brush it out. Now style extenders are super important. Um, if you've never tried the shield before you curl, give it a go. It's gonna be for your clients that say their hair never holds curl, but honestly it's for everybody because you want that 450 degree heat protection. Now the Chameleon is my favorite iron. I've talked about it a lot. I would not recommend it for clients though, just because it does transfer heat so fast. You really wanna be a professional using this tool. Um, yeah, or just tell them to turn it down way low. Last section, two, two more sections, two more sections. We're almost there. And again, I'm just wrapping every which way so nothing sits on top of each other so we can create this giant ponytail of our dreams. Going in. All right, cool. So I'm gonna be photographing this look. Obviously we're not done yet. Initially, if I was at this point in creating this for someone, I would probably be going in with hairspray for sure. Um, I don't like to use a ton of hairspray before I take photos for content, just because, again, it catches the little hairs, it can make the look look really frizzy. So I'm just prefacing that with, imagine, if you were at this point, I would spray some hairspray, okay? But because we're gonna take pictures, I'm gonna wait until the very end. All right, I'm gonna have you turn around now. Completely around? Yeah. I guess we could put you back in the That's regular okay. chair too. Okay, cool. Such a good model. I, I, <laughs> I lucked out. Doesn't care about anything. Just like chilling. All right, so now let's get all these out. I prepped the back of the head for y'all. So you did not have to watch me do a bunch of curls. <laughs> but maybe you did want to watch me. I don't know. Okay, so here we go. Getting all these out. And we are going to hit this hair with Undone Texture Spray. Now, Undone Texture Spray is our matte texture spray, so it does have a matte feeling to it. The active ingredient in it is zeolite. Zeolite, if anyone cares. Um, but it's basically like volcanic ash, so that's what gives it that like matte kind of grippy finish. And Undone Texture Spray is amazing for updos. Um, it's nicknamed Bat Comb in a Bottle because it will really like give you that grip when you go to back comb. But I also do highly recommend trying Headstrong for back combing um, because it locks it in and it's not it's not going to go down. Like you know when you do clients' hair and they're like it's going to fall, it's not going to fall if you use Headstrong, which only saves you time. You don't have to redo it a million times. So try Headstrong for back combing. All right, so we're going in with this section by section really working it in. And with our texture spray, um, some people know this, some people don't, but the more you actually work this product into the hair, the more the molecules repel off itself and the bigger and bigger it gets. So when I do walk into salons and I see people using it as a finisher, I mean, like, sure, like you'll get like that matte, matte like look, but you're not, you're not getting the volume. You know, so we've sprayed it in the ponytail and I'm obviously not gonna go in and like mess all this up. So I do this like little campfire move. Like I'm like trying to get the wood burning or something. That's what it reminds me of. And just kind of fluff that product up because again, I want this to get, I want her to live large, be big. Oh my God, look at all these curls. Okay, your hair does hold curl, you weren't lying. <laughs> All right, so now I am going to go in and zhuzh a little bit. And that just means pulling pieces apart, getting some air underneath so I can get it as fluffy as possible. I just like to use my fingers for this. Um, I find combs like collapse it too much. So we're gonna go in, come on this side here. Sorry. Big. Shake it out. I can feel it. Yeah. Um, if you do have clients who are weird about texture, then obviously the texture spray is not for them. Um, but 
The shield does not have like any mat to it. So that's a really good one for clients that are weird with like feelings in the hair. Also, I don't know if you guys have tried it. I don't have it here because we didn't need it, but um, the new perk up, super, super clean. Super, super clean and like super, super transparent. So like even when I use it on like my dark base, I don't see it. And it's a different formula. It's perk up plus. We have our original one, which is like rice starch base rice starch based um and uh you like let it sit on for a second till it kind of like powderizes and then you go to brush it in so like they came out with perka plus which is supposed to be like a next step and the active ingredient in that one is arrowroot powder and it actually like cleanses your scalp so instead of just like absorbing the oil the arrowroot powder actually like cleans your hair so it's super super cool and i thought it was going to be um like more matte because it's like really gonna absorb or something like that's how my brain went for it but it's so clean so if you have clients that are weird about textures or they just don't like dry shampoo because it's like too powdery for them try perk up plus see see what they say okay i'm going to have you spin back around now my dear Ooh, all right okay yeah. like early 2000s yeah. okay like mm -hmm. Kind of like, even this almost looks like like little clips. Yes, <laughs> like, I love it. It's cool. I did see one stinking straight piece though that I did not curl. So let me do that really, really fast. And we turned off the safety shut off so you don't burn your house down, but not great when you're trying to talk for an hour. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, bow or no bow? Let's see. You guys have to tell me. If we don't do the bow, <clears throat> well, okay, let's just do the headstrong trick too, just so you guys can see that. Um, you want to hide a band, hair band, take a little piece of hair, and I don't know if you've ever tried this, but until I learned this trick, it never stayed. Like I would put a million bobby pins in there trying to get it locked in, never stayed. This changed everything for me. So you take a piece of hair, <clears throat> hair, Headstrong, headstrong, and we are going to like work it flat. And actually, if I have my flat iron on, well, it's kind of on. It's hot. It's gonna be hot enough. Get a nice flat piece. Like, will it stand up? No, it won't. I didn't put enough in it. But if you're a punk rocker, that's the best thing for your mohawk. I'm not kidding you. All right. So now we are going to a little more headstrong. So now we are going to flat wrap around. A little bit of headstrong. Flat wrap around. More headstrong. <laughs> and we are going to repeat this until the end. And literally at this, like when you're done, you don't even need a bobby pin. Like once it dries, it's not going anywhere. I do do a little bobby pin just because why not? Feel like you kind of should. Let me brush this out. I messed this up. Sorry, guys. And headstrong is brushable, <laughs> just so you know, without creating a huge flaky mess. If you use a ton of it, you know, you can't brush through it, I would say, more than twice. But for the most part, you can brush it out, which is pretty rare for an extremely strong holding um, hairspray. Now, I haven't talked about Flexus at all because I haven't used it. I will use it, though, a little bit at the end here. Um, Flexus is our lightweight, touchable hairspray, and it's super, super clean. The thing I like the most about Flexus is it dries instantly, but it's also crazy buildable. So I don't know if any of you guys follow me, hair artist Kelsey, um, I do a lot of avant-garde looks and, like, spiky, strong things, and I actually use Flexus for almost all of those. So this is a little, little tacky. I'm just waiting for this to dry here. At this point, if you had like, um, like a hot sock or whatever, like a muffle on your blow dryer, a little bit of blow dry action. We're not supposed to blow dry during a live because it's loud, so. But that's what I would do just to kind of like set it. So right now we're just waiting for it to set. Because 
normally these little guys wouldn't be sticking up if I had just a little bit of heat. Now I'm going to go in, I want this to be a little bigger. Like I feel like this could be a little bigger. So we are going to do some back calming. I want like, Pris yeah, Priscilla Presley. Is that, did I just totally butcher her name? No, it's right. Priscilla, yes. Yeah. For this, I'm gonna go in with Flexus actually. Hey, I use Flexus. Why not Headstrong? Um, because it's on the top of the head and I don't want to create like too much frizz because again, I told you Flexus is very buildable. So going in section by section. Now normally when I, um, if I'm creating a back combing look, I'm marrying each section together. So that way when you do brush it out, you know, you're doing that like traditional back combing at the crown. Um, you're not gonna have any like weird bubbles or anything like that. For this one, I'm not marrying them together because um, I want the ponytail itself to like live big. If I did marry that all together, I mean, it wouldn't be a bad thing, but at this point, I'm just going individually. But yeah, if you do back combing and you've never tried like bringing everything together to one section, give it a try because that will definitely help you avoid holes and like weird gaps in the crown area. Right at the throat. And this is just my wet brush. I love working with wet brushes. I mean, like Denman who, like, I give me a wet brush all day. I, I slay with a wet brush. Scoop it right there. It back comes pretty well, and then when you go to brush it out, you know, like, it doesn't snag the hair, so it's pretty cool. Okay. Go in on this side. I don't know, we're looking crazy, but I hope you guys have trust, have some faith in me. point two I'm just gonna do a little bit of detail work I'm just gonna do add a couple extra curls this is what I call um, blessing the mohawk normally I do this like the mohawk or where you part your hair that's your mohawk um, when you're curling your client taking little little extra pieces and just curling them and then just kind of like picking them apart and letting them live on top so that it redistributes the weight so that it's not just all down here a lot of times, like when our clients um, curl their hair, like let's say they have, you know, the long bob or whatever, or even just long hair, and they always say like, it doesn't look like the way you do it. That's because they're grabbing hair where they can see it, which is always like here or lower. So it's flat on top and then like big volume, right? So if you tell them to bless their mohawk or that's, that's what I call it. Um, but just going back in right where they part their hair and grabbing hair from that piece and curling here redistributes the weight. And then it looks much more like what we do because obviously we're standing on top of them. So we are grabbing higher <laughs> and it um, changes up the look, looks way more modern and it kind of gives them like an aha moment. pieces apart here. Oh yeah, we're looking fluffy. Oh my god, and I talked for an hour. Who? I did it! I was so afraid because I work so fast. Um, I really tried to slow it down for y'all. Okay, so let me just do a little zhuzhing on this side. And we went in with our undone texture spray. So that's what's adding like all of this crazy volume, crazy good volume. Um, and in order to activate the undone texture spray, you want to go in and work that product in so that the molecules actually like repel off itself and you get the most out of it. So now I'm just kind of like 
bluffing up, zhuzhing as Christina Carlson would call it. lighting a fire can't technique. This works really good though, like let's say you wanna do a big fluffy braid. You want your client wants something kind of boho or even if you're just doing it on yourself, you spray undone texture spray, do this little campfire move, and then you get all this nice fluffy volume to play with. Anybody have any questions? <laughs> I don't know if you did, but this is the finished look. So I hope you guys learned something cool today and learned something cool how you can use Amika and maybe you'll try this infinity um, braid technique. Let me get a little closer so we can just like have you like stand up for a second. Okay. It's time to model. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So I can just bring it in and yep. Show them the, yeah, perfect. Come back around. <laughs>